glad we're on this side of the wall. Yeah, it seems like a pretty big divide between out there and in here. Kind of a chasm, maybe? Yeah, very chasm-y. Uh, welcome to another episode of It's Time to Go. Yeah, today we're going to be talking about the rich man and Lazarus. Which has never been a parable that I've liked very much. It's this story about uh, a rich man and then a poor man named Lazarus who sits outside of the rich man's gate and he needs help. Uh, he doesn't have food, he's kind of begging, and Lazarus doesn't, doesn't help him. Then they both die and the, the rich man goes to hell, um, presumably because he didn't do anything to, to help the poor man. The poor man goes to heaven and, and now their fortunes are kind of reversed. And, yeah, I've never liked it. It's always seemed very judgmental to me. It always seems to be kind of a, a works righteousness text where you have to do enough in order to earn your way into heaven. So, uh, yeah, not my favorite story in scripture. Well, I'm going to con contradict you because this is one of my favorite stories. I know it that would be. <laughs> it's hard to hear it at first, uh, and it sounds like this eternal judgment and uh, it sounds like it's about our eternal salvation and our eternal damnation. And if we don't do the right things, we're, you know, doomed to hell. Uh, but Jesus never seemed to talk in those terms. And this is a parable, we remember. And this is a story meant to motivate us and change us in our life today. And so if we look at it that way, it's a reminder that what we do matters to God. Uh, this rich man has an opportunity to help this neighbor in need day after day, and he doesn't even see him. Uh, and at the end of his life, when both of them die, they're there, and there's this great divide between them. And that's a reflection of what happened during their lives. Uh, the rich man created that divide because he never saw his brother in need. And so this is a call to action for us. Uh, that we might need to open our eyes to the needs of our neighbors to bridge that gap. Uh, it's also a really good uh, ending for Lazarus in the story. Uh, Lazarus is a person who's never noticed in the story. The man never even notices him until he needs help at the end of the story. Lazarus' name means God helps. And uh, so at the end of the story, we realize that even though nobody notices that man, God notices him. God helps. Wow. Well, it's definitely a better take on the story than I've had before. And I like that part about noticing, noticing the people around us. So hopefully we are spending our weeks noticing those that are in need all around us and that God will act through us to help them. Yep. But for now, uh, I think it's time to go. So we hope you have a good week. Have a good one.